The problem set we're taking a look at now is subtraction with multiple regrouping steps. So our example, we have to subtract 925 minus 736. So everything's lined up nicely. I'm just going to give myself some more room. 9, 2, 5, 7, 3, Six. It seems like I kind of spread the numbers out quite a bit. I did, and there's a reason why. Whenever I look at this first column here, remember the first is going to be on the right-hand side, I realize that I have a problem as far as subtraction is concerned because I have 5 minus 6. And again, if I've got 5 of something, it's kind of hard to take 6 away if I only have 5. So I need to do some borrowing. I go over to the next column, and I look at the number on the top, the 2, and I say if I take 1 away from that 2, it would now be 1. 2 minus 1 is 1. And the 1 that I took away, I can put over the side of the 5. Now that has fixed my earlier problem, because I can do 15 minus 6, that is 9. So 15 minus 6, I can put the 9 straight below. And I would then move over to the next column. But here again, I still have a problem because I've got 1 minus 3. And again, 3 is more than 1, so it's hard to take away 3 if you only have 1. So I'm going to do my borrowing again, and again, I'm going to go to the column on the left-hand side, the top number. I see that 9, and I want to take one away. So that 9 becomes 8. The one that I took away from the 9 gets carried over here and just put in front of that 1, so that now I have 11 minus 3. And again, I fixed the problem because 11 minus 3, that I can do, that gives me 8. And I keep moving over to the left to do the next column. Now, what was a 9 is now an 8, but that's okay because 8 minus the 7, that's right below it, that gives us a 1. So 8 minus 7 is one. Our answer is what we now have along the bottom, 189. So 925 minus 736 equals 189.